Now let's take a look at some basic complementary pass routes that we can run off of our power play action. These are basic routes that you can implement into your system. Certainly not comprehensive. We have several videos in our library of short, intermediate, and vertical pass routes that can certainly be implemented off of the power run game. In this tutorial, we are simply going to show basic rudimentary pass routes to take advantage of reacting defenses. In this case, we're going to call this fullback power pass to the right. Power run principles now take effect. Our guard and tackle, per usual, make a two call far. They will aggressively attack the double team with eyes on the far linebacker. Again, these two are responsible for these two. The center will aggressively attack the nose guard. The left guard will drop step crossover, eyes on the victim, and settle right in behind the center in the A-gap. The tackle and tight end will aggressively attack the 5 technique and the 9 technique respectively, and then transition into pass protection mode. Typically, our fullback and running back are responsible for the front side edge player, the 5 technique. In this case, however, the fullback is going to release into the play side flats and look for the ball immediately. He should then communicate to the running back, solo, solo, solo. This tells the running back that he no longer has the assistance of the fullback. He will then take the 5 technique by himself. Nevertheless, the quarterback and running back will make a great power play action mesh prior to the running back attacking the front side edge. From the outside end, our Z will run off the cornerback. He will attack him vertically up the field, get to his outside shoulder to turn his back to the play, and then run down the field expecting the football. Our fullback will release immediately to the play side EML, avoid contact, and slip into the play side flats.